Hi, it's Dr. Minkoff, LifeWorks Wellness Center. I want to talk to you today about thyroid testing because this comes across our plate all the time. Probably 60% of especially women walking around today are hypothyroid. That means they have low thyroid. Uh, usually when doctors test thyroid, they do two tests. One is called TSH. It is a test of the pituitary gland. TSH stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. It's the pituitary gland monitoring the level of thyroid hormone in the blood, a hormone called T4. And when it wants more T4, it sends TSH to the thyroid. The thyroid then makes more T4 and puts it out in the bloodstream. So that's how the thing works. We find that if we measure it in more detail, we get better information. So the way the cycle goes is the thyroid responds to the pituitary by making a mixture of T4 and T3. It's mostly T4, four or five times the amount of T3. T3 is the hormone that's actually active. When T3 hits the cell, it gives it messages. And those messages are make more factories to make energy. Those are called mitochondria. And make the mitochondria work harder. So they produce more energy. The energy is called ATP. When there's plenty of energy in the brain, you think normally, you're not depressed, you have energy, you sleep well. When there's enough ATP in your liver, you detoxify. When there's enough ATP in your muscles, you can do things. But when there's not enough ATP, then you'll have symptoms. So thyroid is really very important in this cycle because it's the signal that tells the cells to make the energy. Now, most of the thyroid output is T4. T4 has to be converted to T3. So in order to convert it, you need zinc and selenium and magnesium and vitamin C. There's a whole process that goes on. So we're gonna measure T4 and we measure T3 and we measure another hormone called reverse T3. So T3 is active, but when the body wants to make the T3 inactive, it makes it into what's called reverse T3, okay? We also order two other things. One is called thyroglobulin antibodies. Now thyroglobulin antibodies are attack particles from the immune system against your own thyroid. This is abnormal. It's an autoimmune condition, okay? Mostly it gets labeled called Hashimoto's. But what it means is that your immune system that thinks that your thyroid is bad and wants to attack it. The other antibody that is made is called antiperoxidase antibody. These are both attack particles against the thyroid. Now this usually happens when someone has a leaky gut or they have infections in their mouth like root canals and deep pockets. Uh, a lot of people with gluten allergy will develop this stuff. Dairy allergy, they'll develop this stuff. So whenever I see these antibodies, I know there's an autoimmune condition and we have to do something about it. Sometimes a deficiency of iodine, which is required to make thyroid hormone, also is needed to quell this down, okay? So the thyroid testing is very important. It's really good to get all this stuff because then you get a full idea of what's happening with the thyroid. Sometimes the T4 is okay, but the T3 is low. The body's unable to make the conversion. We can give somebody T3 in that case and get them feeling normally. Sometimes both of them are too low and we need to give a mixture so that we get them both into range. And once the range is there, the person will feel more, more body heat, so they'll be warm, they'll be energetic. Their mental capacities will be optimized. They will lose weight if they're having trouble losing weight and everything just works better, okay? So that's kind of an overview capsule of thyroid, thyroid hormones, autoimmune thyroid disease, and how we approach it. Hope this helps.